the idea of wrist locks is just fundamentally isolating the elbow, folding the wrist either this way or this way. Okay, so now if he, if he gets a hold of me and we're in a start position, this is just one option. We're gonna go through several options, okay? What I'm gonna do here is kind of just bump here or just fold, okay? I fold and by doing so, his, his wrist kind of bends in a natural and then I'm gonna pull at his elbow and I cup so that his wrist, his hand gets locked and now his wrist is locked and then I just pull into that space, okay? So even from this start position, I grab his elbow, boom, and now I have it already folded. Now a couple of principles is when I'm trying to fold it, his wrist open this way, I like to use my body, so like what we did here, okay? Sometimes you'll find that he folds it this way trying to defend it and it works the same. Now, when I fold it this way, I don't actually have to use my body, I can use my hand, okay? To like get that control and get that to work, okay? This way tends to work better if I use my body to make that happen, okay? So let's go through just a couple other positions. So that's from standing. Let's be on the ground real quick. Um, lay down the side control. I can do it from bottom or top of just about any position, okay? So let's say I have side control and he's trying to like, a lot of times they'll try and like frame my face and like push me off, okay? So what I'll do in this case is I'll trap the elbow again and if you'll watch his fingers, okay? I trap his hand and I'll put it to the floor and now I put pressure and just like that, I have a wrist lock, okay? Another one that I like, if you could turn towards that way. Okay, no, no, this, you can stay this way, just roll towards that, towards that. Roll towards that, like that. Now let's back up so we're going to do this. Okay. Another one that I really like is when I have this position, I like, like I'm going to take the back, I have arm bars, I have, but you're doing a good job of like defending the collar and all these things, okay? So what I do is I take and I'll trap this wrist. And now his arm is stuck and I have a wrist lock right here. Okay, so that one's a pretty good one because a lot of times he's so worried about me taking this arm that they forget about this hand. Okay, and now I have a wrist lock here. And then of course I can do the same thing and just wrist lock this one, okay? Off of the arm bar, okay? If I'm doing an arm bar and he's kind of defending, I can do the same thing here with this one. If I'm gonna attack this arm, I'll, you know, in this case, cross my, cross my legs and I'll push and now I use my legs as a backstop for his elbow and I fight here okay another one is I'm trying to like get this this arm and he's doing a good job defending it so what I'll do is I'll fight his hand here and then just inside wrist lock him so there's wrist locks all over the place I'll even show you a couple where I'm in a bad position let's say you take my back okay so it's the same same concept he has over under hooks he has his hooks in seatbelt on everything's pretty good okay what I'm gonna do in this case, get your grips set, okay? In this case, is I'm gonna grab, usually the hand over the top is the one he's gonna be hiding so that he can choke me if I peel this off, right? So typically that happens a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the back of this hand, swing my arm behind his elbow, and now I can attack his wrist just from, from right here, right? So I'm in a precarious situation, but I have it here, and now I wrist lock just from right there. So, so even from bad positions, you can get wrist locks if you want. Let's do a couple guard. I have a couple favorite from guard. Okay. So one, he did. Yeah. He he puts his hands to try and like push me open, like under my armpits. He does this sort of thing, right? So this is kind of difficult to deal with. I can't do a whole lot. So what I'll do is I'll put my foot on the hip, okay, and I'll make a big circle here, and I'll I'll fold. And I have this just, like, just like that. Okay. So especially if he puts his arms under my armpits, like he's this sort of thing, then I then it's even easier, right? So his his arm gets his wrist gets bent this way. Another one, if you could grab my belt, they'll do this, right? He's in a pretty good spot. Okay. So from here, what I do is I just reach inside, use my belly, and now fold his wrist and wrist lock from right there. So they're all over. 